Hi everyone. Uh, today we are going to learn about how to create a login form using a user record stored in MS Access table. The benefit of having user records in MS Access table that you can store as many as users you want <coughs> and use them. So, what you will learn? Multiple user records, rather to hard code username and password, in which I have shown in another video that in the VBA code you can hard code the username and passwords. But in this one, you will be you will be using user credentials in the table. Former control operation, process form control operations using user levels. So we'll define user levels for different users and use of public variables. So we'll be storing the username and the, the login ID, level ID, or user level in public variables, and then we'll be using those variables in for different operations. So let's start. Uh, just keep in mind uh, keep in mind one thing that uh, you need to understand the code. I have received some of the comments in which they are saying that, okay, we have taken the code. And later on, they are asking me uh, the questions about uh, the coding, how the processing is done, why is that done. So uh, just allocate a little bit time for yourself for this video and understand how the processing is being done because that will be beneficial for you in future if you want to change anything or learn anything. Okay, so now just quickly, I will show you Let's say uh, our first user is admin. Uh, these are record numbers are appearing. I will explain it later on. Okay. Values passed to module and stored in public variables. Login ID is one. Login name admin level one. You're welcome to admin QOS or the software name you can use. So here we have um, students record. Now this uh, this user can change the record can delete the record, add the record, press again home or login page, whatever. Of course, this is a different processing you can carry on. Let's say another user. Login ID 2, login name, level, number, level 2. So level 2, let's see what level 2 is having. Okay, level 2 can only add the records. He cannot edit any existing record. He cannot delete. Go back to login page. Let's say another user. Same level two. Fine. Only add the record. Another user. Okay, this user is having level three. Okay. Now this is the first record of the student, but this user cannot edit any record so he can only read the records <coughs> so this means assigning the read only records read only rights to the user okay now i will show you how it is being achieved if we have placed the code on uh, the ok button okay i will just log in because the toolbar is also off level one now I will go to the home to the login page again to show you the code how it is working. View code. So we have placed the code on the OK button of the login form. Now here you can see. Okay. So starting from here, let's say so OK button. This is a procedure, private procedure to this command button. Okay. What it does, we have defined red count where username, RS count, and the query string, variable password, variable where login ID, where level ID as integer. So some of the, the variables. Here, what we have done, <coughs> query name, ORSQL, select statics from U login means uh, it will extract all the records from you login table so I will show you the table now we have table okay. you login table okay so this is a table our table structure in which we have stored the username and passwords so login ID login name login description designation and here we have level ID one two three so let's open the form of this 
login table show you okay this is how this form is appearing okay so here we have just for intimation level one all rights level two and only level three read only and then here you can assign the different levels <clears throat> you can go up to of course this is uh, based on your coding you can define as many as levels you want now what's happening that this ok button go to view code ok so that's our code code window ok now here what's happening how the, the code is being processed so as explained for this query ok we have stored the query string now set db current db set current database to process records set rs we are opening a record set we're defining a record set and here on the top you can see we have defined db as dao database rs as dao record set so here now we are opening this record set and then in brackets the query name so this will bring all the records into this record set which is rs Now, once the records are being pulled into RS record set, so we'll just we are giving okay record count. Record count, this message is giving you record number total record one. So now we what we have done RS dot move last. This will move the pointer to the last record. And then again we are having message RS RS dot record count now. As you have seen that when we are logging in, so first message is appearing one second message being four so when we have moved to last record so now the record number record count is four why we have done this record count i will show it to you okay now move back to first record here set focus on username the text box on the form and then so whatever text you have entered it will be passed to this where username whatever password in the password box you have passed it will be put into variable password now this is a for loop for i want to record count record count if you remember it was showing last record is four so this means that this loop will or uh, this code will be processed four times if variable username is equals to our record source which is rs the field name login name where password again record set password so which means that first it now the pointer is at the first record so it is checking the, in this field and in this field if the strings are matching with the variable user and password then what it should do okay we are storing this level id into this one so we'll move to the next if public variable level id is equals to one so what we have done we have taken from the record set the level id also so if the level id is one then what it should do record set login id passed to this variable level id passed to this variable and then we are calling a module which is login. we are passing all these values to the module so module is basically uh, we are storing these values to the module in the public variable this way i will show it to you later on so don't worry about this code so just imagine public variable if the level id is one then what it should do toolbar welcome message frm student so now the form will open but in which mode edit mode this means level one can add delete modify any record if level two if the level id is two so then what it should do so basically here you can see frm student the form is opening in only add mode if level id three Now the form is opening here you can see ac form read only so the read only form is opening so 
if you see at the first level here so if the username and password is not matching with this one okay what it will do it will go to the bottom it will go to that else part okay else here rs so we have now we have moved the pointer to the next record if condition ended and next so which means now we are going to the next record so next record next which is for loop which is again <clears throat> go back to the top here you can see okay now the value of i is changed okay one to rs now it will go to the next record again it will check if the in the next record username and password is matching if it is matching then store the level id in this one okay now i, I will explain uh, here when the values are being passed to module so we have passed basically login id username and level id to mod to the module mr login this is our module so here we have received these values okay and we have stored it to mr login mr login name mr level id and this is the message box which is in the start if you have noticed it is showing that what is the login name what is uh, the login id name and level and on the top you see we have defined this mvar level id mvar login mvar login name as strings but as public public variables so public variables means these variables are available throughout your access session where we have used i will show you the form now okay here you can see now we have used the public variables we have defined one uh, label on the frm student and that caption is changing at the form load event what it does show the login name so you see now i will show you the the form okay let's run it again Okay. Put the record. Okay. Record one four. Okay. Welcome to us. Now on the top you can see this level, this uh, the caption, admin. So by this way you can uh, level ID based on level ID also the the public variable of level ID you can check on the load form load event of any form or any other control you can check that okay if the level id is one or two or three so this control or even text box you can play with the text box text box should be visible or invisible all these things you can do so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and thanks for your comment thanks for liking so many people are asking me different questions also you can email me if you have any issues um, and uh, about this video also if you have any questions please let me know i'll be glad to help you uh, i'll be glad to help you out thanks a lot see you next time